going on, everybody? It is your favorite Auntie Mo, and we are back <laughs> for the ratchet tree that is Tokyo Tony's Finding Love ASAP. This is season one, episode two. I don't know what the hell the name of it is. We're just going to call it episode two. A um, couple of real quick church announcements before we get into the review. If you have not done so just yet, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to let me know that um, you stopped by. Let me know by giving me a thumbs up or a thumbs down and then hit the notification bell. Make sure that bell is turned on so that way you will know whenever I upload new content. Um, follow me on my socials if you are not already. You can find me on Instagram, Moyo512. You can find me on Twitter, uh, NikkiShawn512, as well as my Facebook like page for this YouTube channel, Mohambone TV. Um, also want to let you guys know who did my hair. Fresh braids here by Dion, Jay Andres. You can find her here in Austin, Texas. 1030 Norwood Park Suite 310. Tell her that Mo sent you. Y'all, this episode was very uneventful. Ratchet, all the same. We come to expect that from Tonyo Tony. You know, um, Tonyo is what we call around here on my channel. But, um... All the same, child, <laughs> I'm doing this review for y'all. Y'all asked for it. Hit the shit go. Y'all want to hear about it. Hit the shit go, okay? Hopefully, you're ready for the review. It's not going to be a long review at all. Let's get ready for the ratchet shit because I'm ready to give it right on up into you. So, let's get right on up into it. <laughs> okay, so. Big Lyrica G and Tonio are talking about the guys. You know, this is the night that she met everybody. Everybody's new in the house. You know, she done gave them all their names. And so her and Lyrica G are just sitting up there talking about the guys. Now, of course, Tonio ain't feeling none of them because all Tonio wants is the D. She says she ain't had no dick in three years, which I doubt that. I think she fucking wassy. I don't care what nobody says. She fucking Wasi. But um, Wasi is her little bodyguard dude that's always there for her all the time. But um, Lyrica is telling her that she was too hard on the guys and she needs to give him a chance. Um, Tonio don't care. She wants somebody that can get down and give it a D. Look here. these They a bunch of old dudes. Now, mind you, I told you, this is the flavor of love. And I love New York mixed together, but it's like 40 years from now. You know what I'm saying? So all of these old niggas, they not slanging dick like that no more. They trying to snatch their whole goddamn hip out of place trying to slang some dick. They playing, you know, they paying for AARP and 401k and Medicare benefits and all of that shit. They don't have time to be trying to slang dick the way Tonio trying to get that dick slanged on her. You know what I'm saying? It's a couple of men there that can probably do it. But for the most part, mm -mm. them men don't get down like that. But, you know, Lyric is trying to tell her, you know, you need to give them a chance. You know, you a lot for them. Matter of fact, two of them already left. The girl left, the little bisexual girl, she left. She was like, uh-uh, this bitch is too much. And the high yellow dude that was in a canary yellow, I forgot what she called him. He didn't matter anyway. She wasn't feeling him because she said she didn't like light-skinned dudes anyway. They left because they was like, uh, this bitch is out of line. She out of pocket. She crazy as hell and I can't deal with it. I what made you think she was, I mean, it, as we know, half of these people there is paid goddamn actors anyway. This shit cannot be for real. So they came, they got their little paycheck, and they got the hell on up out of there. Because they seen, uh-uh, I'm not built for this shit. So y'all, we have uh, Romy Rome, the Latin lover. <laughs> Freaky Dinky is what I call him. That's a little bisexual dude and a little surfer dude by the <laughs> no name. They are sitting back and they playing some kind of little gambling game, game at this little poker table that she got set up. I don't know if it was poker, but it was some kind of gambling game that they're playing right now. The Latin lover, that's a little Colombian dude. He freaked out because Freaky Deaky said he's looking at him. He like um, giving him the eye, giving him the wing, giving him the bedroom eye. Like, uh-huh, I'll dick it down. You know what I'm saying? Um, Latin lover, like, I'm not really feeling him like that. He need to stay back up for me. I don't want nothing to do with the man on mine. He don't want nothing to do with that. But Freaky Dicky like, oh, you just, just got to give it a chance. You never know. <laughs> he want to put that D on his ass. So they all sitting back there talking, child, then Romy Rome. Romy Rome, that's the old, old pimp dude. You know what I'm saying? He got to drinking too much, child. He started doing all that pimp talk. Child, it was a mess. I felt bad for him. I was like, oh, somebody go get him now. He was like, I'm a mother motherfucking pimp. I got holes on top of holes on top of holes. I'm like, what in the fuck is going on 
what is he, what is he talking about lord what is he doing so they sitting around they talking mingling doing that little boy thing or whatever that was at the same time you got good credit um big nigga who else was a full of shit and Popeye, they all sitting up, they playing basketball. Now they over there fucking with the white dude, good credit, cause he keep trying to talk to big nigga, but he don't want to say big nigga name, cause you know he can't say big nigga. So they like, look here, you need to call him big dude, big guy, just call him Ben. So his nickname is Ben, bitch, cause he can't say big nigga. Y'all, this shit here is goddamn hilarious. They just jonesing, going in on him, fucking with him, basically asking him, like, what are you there for? What do you think you have to offer Tokyo Tony? He's like, oh, well, I like her donkey donk. And we like, what? Really, dude? I think he's a paid actor because he looks like he has not now none of business being there whatsoever. Like, the fuck is going on? Why are you even here? Now, at this point, you got Little D, Big D, Cookie Monster, and uh, M814386. They all sitting around and they talking and um, Big D is kind of going in on Cookie Monster, asking him like, what are you doing here? What makes you think she will want you? Like, you too damn old to be here. You the oldest one out of everybody there. He was the oldest one out of everybody production and staff included there old as hell like why are you even there i mean we all thinking that but he says that you know he feeling tony yo and he felt like he could be the one for her they kind of start going at it then big d kind of starts turning his attention to ma14386 he's like you know so why are you here what do you feel like you can offer to her this that and the other and so ma14386 is like you know i got love for her and you know what i'm saying i know i can be the man for her now as they're talking, their conversation kind of goes left to where somebody brought up the issue of Trump. Now, MA14386 says that he fucks with Trump because Trump signed a bill that allowed him to get out of prison early. He was supposed to do 20 years, but because of a bill that Trump signed, he was able to get out in 15 years. Now, he says he does not support Trump, but what he did for him allowed him to get out of prison early. So, and for, for that aspect, he has respect for him. Child, all Lil D and Big D heard was the man say something about Trump and Trump did this for him. Then Cookie Monster on the side basically co-signed saying, yeah, Trump is the best alive. He's here to make America great again, child. So it just started to get left again. Next thing you know, these old men about to fight. They about to really fight. I'm like, oh Lord, stop, you gonna hurt yourself. Oh, somebody get a funny fall. They was really about to go at a child. So Lyrica G, Antonio, and Wasi, Wasabi, I, don't, I just want to call the man Wasabi. I can't call him Wasi. He ends up coming out there with them. They all trying to break up the fight. Like, what the hell is going on, child? Um, MA14386 is like, look here, I'm here for you. But Trump set me free. Again, Tonyo walking up like, I don't even know what the fuck you talking about. Like, all y'all need to calm the hell down. Go back to your corner. Sit the hell down. Matter of fact, it's elimination tonight. I need some time to think about what the hell is going on. All of you motherfuckers can get the hell on up out of my face right now. I was just like, if these old men fight, Lord, y'all gonna have a lawsuit on your hand because somebody gonna break their goddamn hip. Y'all, it's elimination night. I'm not gonna go through telling you everybody she kept. I'm just telling you who all she eliminated. She ended up um, eliminating, who did she eliminate? She ended up um, eliminating, what's the dude? The dude with the meaty head. I forgot what his name was. What his goddamn name was? I thought, yeah, his name was full of shit. And his name suited his ass because she asked him, do you think you deserve to be here? He said no. <laughs> he didn't want to be there no goddamn way. She was like, exactly, deuces nigga leaves. So she ends up eliminating him. She ends up basically keeping keeping old freaky deaky dude, keeping old surfer no name dude, kept big D, little D, big nigga. All the rest of them dudes, right? Now, right before the episode ended, this heifer gonna tell them, now all of y'all, smell your fingers, smell your fingers so you can be thinking about me for the rest of your night. Basically, do you got love for Tonio? Like how Flavor of Love does, you know, at the end of Do You Have Love for New York, like they do at the end. Now, I had seen one of Tonio's lives. This was just recently. And Tonio, I don't know if she was high, if she was drunk, if she meant to say this or what, but she said on her live that she let them all basically 
touch her cootie so they can smell it and see that she does not stink. So I'm thinking that this is what she's talking about when she says that because all of them smell their fingers and they're all like, oh. now if that's what she did, woman, you nasty bitch. You nasty bitch. But y'all, the episode ended from there with these men smelling their fingers with the scent of Tonio on their goddamn fingers to think about for the rest of the night. I said, Lord have mercy. This woman right here, they broke the mold when they made this bitch right here. This goddamn show is ratchet. Oh, cougar ratchetry at its finest. Y'all, if any of y'all seen this episode, if it was anything that I missed, put it down below and let me know. I told you this review is not going to be long at all. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'm Timo. We'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out. What's up, y'all? Do me a favor and share the video. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think and um, hit that notification button so you will be up to date when I upload my latest videos. Ahala.